Uh, good evening. Uh, fresh out of the bathtub. Uh, wet hair and shiny forehead. But, uh, hey, I want to talk a little bit about acupuncture uh, for a couple of things. Uh, I think I started looking at acupuncture my first year of university. I went to the University of Windsor, uh, started in physical education, uh, and really didn't want to spend five years and become a phys ed teacher. Nothing wrong with it. I just did. It seemed like I had more options if I was going to spend that time in school. And uh, I bought my first acupuncture book. It was when, you know, the East Eastern influence was coming in to uh, uh, Canada then is where I grew up. I remember going to a friend of mine's house, and she was a nurse, and uh, she asked if she could look through it as well. And I uh, have had an affinity for Eastern medicine, uh, and a, as most of you know, a disaffinity for, is that a word? I don't know. Uh, <clears throat> uh, Western medicine. Uh, I don't. Well, we're not going to go there. Uh, acupuncture uh, is a series of meridians or rivers. There are twelve meridians, and uh, uh, well, twelve paired meridians. Uh, it means the long runs. Long meridian runs from here to here, and it connects to the large intestine meridian that comes up and out, and. Uh, same on the other side. That's why I'm saying by paired. There's there's two long meridians, two large intestines, two heart. Uh, there's the governing vessel, which runs down the back, and the conception vessel, which is in the front, which are singular meridians. But the paired meridians are, there's a dozen of them. There's 12 of them. And they surge energetically uh, for two hours every day. And it's been mapped out by acupuncturists how they surge, when they surge. Uh, and uh, the heart's lowest energy is... Uh, in at night and oft times I've heard them say about uh, people who've had a heart attack if they can survive tonight the first night then there's a good chance that they'll make it and then they don't relate it to the acupuncture but uh, it is it is the phenomenon that because it it dips so heavily um, well let me look well, yep give me just a second I'll be right with you yeah. all these years of studying acupuncture I don't um, Nope, it's, uh, it surges it uh, 11 to 1. Uh, sorry. Yeah, it's low energy is it, it, from 11 to 1 in the evening. So if you can survive, uh, if you're a heart patient at midnight, uh, when it's, it's lowest, then uh, they say you have a good chance of surviving. But when you fly, okay, particularly when you fly against the sun. Okay, what I mean by that is you, you're leaving uh, North America and you're flying to Europe, so the sun is still tra traveling in its course this way, and, and you're going against the sun, so you take a full day, a full night, and uh, you don't sleep usually. Uh, the first time I flew to Europe, it was uh, my father-in-law invited me. He, uh, we had not met. Uh, Nicole was pregnant with our first baby, Mia, and uh, sh he uh, died three days before I got here. I've said for years he was just a real smart man. He had two choices, meet me or die, and he chose the latter. <laughs> yeah, but uh, at any rate, when I got here, I had read about jet lag. I'd never flown internationally, and I thought it was a mind-over-matter phenomenon. I didn't sleep on the airplane. About 1 o'clock in the afternoon, we had a business meeting. I thought I was going to die. I really did. I thought, holy shit. And uh, the man running the meeting said, uh, boy, you need to lay down or something. It's not, you don't look good. And then at about an hour and a half later, people are trying to wake me up, desperately saying, get up, get up, get up. you got to get up now. If you don't get up now, this is going to be horrible for you. And so they woke me up. We walked around. I was just in this fog for the rest of the day. Now, my biological clock was still on Houston time, okay? I had not found a way to reset the clock to whatever time. I didn't even know. the. I knew the phenomenon existed, but like I said, I thought it was mind over matter. So I... When I got home, I started researching. Uh, John Amaro, John uh, Alan Beardall, Victor Franks all had written uh, various and sundry things on uh, the effects of jet lag because they were already traveling internationally, teaching and stuff. So they started looking at the phenomena. And uh, so then I put it on a real handy little wheel. Uh, first, we called it a time traveler, which was a marketing snafu. I mean, it's. People looked at it and thought, oh my, do I get to travel through time? Do I get to go back and see my mother? You know, shit like that. So uh, when I finally looked, let's name it what it is, the jet lag eliminator, 
uh, and it's really a handy little dial. It, uh, you twist it, it shows you which acupressure points to massage, and essentially what it does, it confuses your biological computer. You're in a tin can, flying, getting heavily irradiated uh, across the world, <clears throat> and you're being dehydrated, a bunch of th dehydrated, a bunch of things are happening, and, and your system really doesn't know what's going on. So then we further confuse it. We take uh, the hourly points and massage them from where you've left and to where you're going. Right? And then when you get where you're going, we recommend that you stimulate only the points of the meridians that are surging at that point in time. The theory is that you're pulling your energy into these meridians so that you land in time. And a whole bunch of people have used it and a whole bunch of people have, have uh, sworn by it. Uh, and I use it and I, and I love it. Of course, why wouldn't I? It's mine. I invented it, innovated it, whatever you want to call that. But uh, like I said, acupuncture is an old science. That's why I like it. Uh, extremely effective in a lot of cases. Uh, and um, it's the birth of jet lag eliminator. Uh, so we'll talk a little bit more about alternative health care. Uh, and no, excuse me, we'll talk more about natural health care. I'm going to call it natural health care as often as I can because there's nothing alternative about it. What is alternative, oh, let's not go off on that rant, is taking drugs and stabbing people. But we'll talk about natural health care a little more.